Hi everyone! Hello, hello, it's Rose again and in this video I want to show you how I safely remove press-on nails at home. So recently I went to Kalani's concert and I specifically made a set of press-on nails for myself and I absolutely loved it. But the day after I had some nail clients and I cannot work with long nails and then so I had to take them off at home really quickly in a rush. And this soak up method is really safe and it uses items that every single household would have. Let's get to it. The things you will need are a medium sized bowl, detergent, any kind of oil, I'm using vegetable oil, warm water, a towel and a wooden cuticle stick. Start by adding detergent and the oil to the bowl, then fill it up with some warm water on the hot side if you can handle. Adjust the temperature and place the bowl on a towel with the wooden stick nearby. I made this set of press on nails for Kalani's concert and I really enjoy them. They are my favourite nails so far but it's time to take them off for a busy day of work. You just soak your fingers in the water for 10 to 15 minutes. I'm doing a rerun of Harry Potter to pass the time. And then you want to use the wooden stick to gently loosen the sides of the nail. It should easily pop off and if not, soak them in water a little longer. The detergent and oil will work together to dissolve the glue and the warm hot water will help to speed up this process. You never want to rip them off raw. Nail glue is usually really strong and it will take off your natural nail layers with it. You want to use a wooden cuticle stick because it has a side that is flat and it is much less likely to scratch your nails. I do provide a wooden cuticle stick with every press on nail order I sell but if you bought your nails from somewhere else that doesn't provide a cuticle stick you can always use a toothpick but be very very careful with its sharp ends. If you are using a toothpick I recommend soaking your fingers for a little bit longer and make sure that the temperature of your water is warm to hot so that we can dissolve as much of the glue off as possible possible before attempting to loosen them to minimize injuries. Go with a very light hand as you don't want to accidentally poke yourself. Do the same for each finger, the longer you soak them the easier they will come off. Because we are in a rush this morning to get them off before my first client gets here, we are soaking them for only about 5 minutes and they are already popping off. After they are all off, discard your water mixture and then wash your hands to get rid of all the oil and detergent. I like to get my nails ready for reuse by using an antibacterial wipe to wipe them free of oils and let them air dry on a piece of paper towel. Then I stick them back into their original packaging and store them in room temperature away from sunlight and other light sources. Now we still have glue residue on our natural nails so we will buff the glue off by using a 240 grit nail sponge buffer. I find any grits rougher, lower grit is rougher. We'll scratch our nails unnecessarily and any grits finer won't get the glue off. Then as an extra step I go in with the blue cross cuticle softener to get rid of the dead skin. Finishing off with some cuticle oil and rubbing that in and then we are done. And that's how I take off press on nails at home safely. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more nail stuff. And I will see you next week. Bye!